Number 29. The following concentrations are found in mixtures of ions in equilibrium with slightly soluble solids. From the concentration given, calculate the KSP for each of the slightly soluble solids indicated. And then we have barium sulfate, BASO4. So they told us that the barium ion concentration is 0 0.500 molarity, and the sulfate ion, the SO4 2 minus, is 4.6 times 10 to the negative eighth molarity. From this information, we just have to calculate the KSP, the solubility product. Uh, but remember, a solubility product always comes from a balanced equation. So that's always the first thing you got to do. In this case, we have a slightly soluble solid. It's a solid of barium sulfate, BASO4, and that's going to break down into its ions. And here they are. They told us what they are. So I'm just going to use what they gave us. Thank you very much. <laughs> Love it when they give us all the information we need. BASO4, that's a solid. And this comes to equilibrium. It breaks it down into the two ions. They said that it was Ba2 plus and SO4 2 minus. Since I have charges, I know that those are going to be aqueous. And now let's just see, do I need to balance? It's already balanced. So we're good to go. Love it. Now I'm just going to write down the information that they gave us. The barium 2 plus concentration is 0 0.500 molarity. And then the sulfate ion is 4.6 times 10 to the negative eighth molarity. Now let's use our balanced equation to find out the KSP equation for our uh, question, right? Generally, KSP just equals products raised to the coefficients, no solids allowed. That's why the reactants aren't there. And let's see, KSP would equal the concentration of the barium, 2 plus, times the concentration of the sulfate, SO4, 2 minus. Raised to the coefficients, but each one of them, I don't see a coefficient in front. That means that there was just one of them, a piece. So you could raise both of them to the first, but that's the same thing as just not writing it. So pretty easy enough. The barium concentration they told us was 0 0.500. And the sulfate ion they told us was 4.6 times 10 to the negative eighth. We can now solve for the KSP. So let's get going. KSP equals the concentration of 0 0.500 times 4.6 times 10 to the negative eighth. Plug this in, and then we'll get our answer. Look how lovely that was. 0.5 times, 4.6 times 10 to the negative eighth. Uh, yep, 2.3. 2.3 times 10 to the negative eighth. KSP values have no units, and we're done. Oh my goodness. Okay, what'd you think? I really hope I'm helping you guys out with your chem class. Also check out the channel. We have physics videos and math videos at the moment, so we might be able to help you in those subjects as well. Uh, more more uh, you know, subjects coming down the road, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for all the support in this journey thus far. Let's keep learning. Okay, bye-bye.